you know, we're going to pop in for Sean on the ground days. I know we go to start the discussion. Today's discussion is supporting a relationship, supporting our relationships, excuse me. And I start off with saying everyone wants to feel supported. Support means so many things to so many people. We never believe that support can mean finding a definition that we all could agree on. Do you sit down with the people you love and talk about what support means to one, what, what it means to support one another? Well, today we all come together to discuss support and how it is the heartbeat of a healthy and equal relationship. So, you know, you know, we always start off asking everybody what does support mean to them? But before that, who, you know, who wants to be a panelist? Raise your hand. Keep your hand up. Hi, Jastic. So you joined. Hi, Jasmine. Yeah, so you shared. Drastic. Okay, Drastic is on. That's what's up. What about you, Darrell? Jasmine, Jessica, Reese, everybody's welcome. But y'all also welcome to stay, you know, on the side and just chat. The drastic, I promoted you. The rail, I promoted you. All you gotta do is show. Yeah, Hello, video. good evening, everybody. Yeah, what's happening? We still don't see your video. Yeah, I need a few minutes for the video. All okay. right, do your thing. Going on, everybody. Let it be back. Let it be back. Yes, yes. Hi, girl. How are you? So while Good. before we, I mean, while we getting started, everybody, you know, they can write their answers. What does support mean to you? And we'll read some of the answers, um, out loud and move on from there. We want to engage everybody in this topic, because obviously this is what we do. We talk about relationships all day, every day. We're trying to, you know, have better quality personal relationships. You know, obviously it's a different rule of thumb when it comes to the tolerance of our Yeah, my apologies. I logged in a little bit late, so I, I missed the question. The question is, what does support mean what does support mean to you in a relationship? Mm. Yeah, me... Um to me. Oh, go ahead. No, no, no. I'm going. I'm just waiting to see if everybody, anybody on the side answers. You can answer. Yeah, I was just saying. Uh, support means. Uh, I, I guess it's it, the the definition is is within the word. You know, what I'm saying like, you want a person to to assist you in a, in achieving the goals that you have, or whatever the case may be. You know, what I mean, like, if you got if you got. A, like let's use you for example. If you got a podcast, you want your partner to help you promote it, encourage you to continue. You know what I'm saying with the with the work that you're doing. Um, you know, speak po positive affirmations as well as point out blind spots that you might not see that can help you improve it. You know what I'm saying. So the support is um, anything that can assist you in moving in the right direction towards achieving your goals. Uh, excellent. Yeah. So I agree with drastic. I mean, it's crazy because when I think of support, when I'm not on love snobs, it's such an easy definition to answer. But now here, it's like, it's a little bit harder. So when I think of support, I mean, I think of, so, you know, if I use myself for an example, I'm talking about, you know, my schooling, my podcast I'm developing, my activism in the community, my, you know, lifting weights, working out, like, like all aspects. It's not, you know, just, you know, I mean, but we're going to support each other. But well, supporting me means, you know, supporting me in everything that I want to do that's positive, that's going to lead us in the right direction. Okay. Okay. Let me see that. Let me see that. Anybody else want to write anything? What's going on, or when we see you? Oh. Welcome back. Hey, hey girl. All So we have an anonymous person that wrote, does support look, doesn't support look different to everyone? Some people think being critical of your dreams is supportive too. And I would say, you know, support, this is, this is the whole point of us coming together and having discussions because 
we need to get better at defining our terms. We need to get better at understanding our language. How can we truly connect and how can we truly teach anything if you truly don't understand what, if we don't find a common definition that we can actually teach or a common definition that we actually can all abide by, you know? So I would say, yeah, support can be being super critical of someone's dreams. And critical, obviously, we understand that every word has a pro and a con to it. But if you meant it in a negative way, I wouldn't say that that's supportive. So though they can believe that, that's not what the definition is. Mm -hmm. And it's not what it, you know, supporting is actually lifting. So Demetria on Facebook said, support to me is sticking by my side when we are not in agreement. Okay. Uh, I, I mean, that's a... Go that's a that can go either way. I think that um, when a person is sticking by your side, when you guys don't agree, what are you guys gonna, what are what are you disagreeing about? Is it a principle? Is it I want mashed potatoes? I want French fries? Like what? Do, what's the disagreement? I think that really, that that really that's really the that's really the core of should somebody be sticking by you if they don't agree with what you're doing. So I know a lot of people believe that support means that, you know, through thick and thin and, you know, they throw out unconditional love, but is that support or is that enabling? Mm. We, the love snobs, believe that it's enabling. Definitely. So, I, Demetria, could you give me an example of what you're talking about so you can get clarity? Yeah, definitely, because we don't want to answer something broad when you can be super on point. Yeah. Cause that's kind of, you know, that's kind of broad, but I mean, just to move forward, I would say support is any, is when anybody's in a line with somebody else and they bring the best out of you. Cause we hear a lot of people say, you know, I'm whole by myself. Like there's a whole movement where everybody's trying to still figure out who they are as adults. And I, we truly believe it's our time to really start building quality relationships to move through this world with and move through this life with. And yes, you could be, have a great sense of self, but support is when people bring the best out of you. If like with Jurassic said, if everybody, we all know everybody has blind spots. So why would you not have people that fill those blind spots to make you the best person you can possibly be? And how could you do that by yourself if you don't have, <laughs> if you have blind spots? So there's no way you are hundred percent by yourself. And we all know we have blind spots. So you always want people to fill those blind spots. So now you are hundred percent of who you are. You at your optimal level. So I think I definitely believe that support is keeping each other at the optimal level. So when you fall short, they're calling you out. When you at your best, they, 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 they're, they're cheering you on. I would say that that's where support, you know, that's how I would define support. But, I mean, but to, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead Oh, oh, so, oh, so, but I wanted to add on to what you were saying, Aziz. Like, yes, you're right, that it's the, per the people around you should be bring bringing out all the positives in you, right? But both people need to agree to, to, to that. You know what I mean? Like, they need to, like, I know someone gave the example of Aziz and I, we have a podcast and we want to be around people who support that, right? But if, we're, if you are around and you don't want to support that, then you should be able to say that. You should be honest about that as well. So I think when it comes to support, you have to be honest about what you're signing up for so that you can get the optimal results and so that you, got, you, got, you guys could both thrive in that environment. Definitely. Really, we don't want you to support us because- you Not know, out of obligation. We want you to support us because you believe in the message. Yeah. And that's the overall thing. I mean, we, have a, we can have a clear understanding of, okay, Mahogany, we see you. I know I'm mid-sentence. We should have a clear, we should have clear roles and clear, a clear understanding of what it means to really truly support us. What, what it means to truly support a person is we believe in the road and the path that we're focused on. You get what I'm saying? And we're walking together. But when somebody doesn't believe in your path, but they just support you just because they know you, they're going to deviate as fast as possible. As soon as it get hard, they're going to deviate because the belief yeah. is black. Mm -hmm. so I don't want you to support me just because like, you know how we all say, you know, support each other because, you know, we know each other, support each other because we in the same neighborhood. I'm not supporting you if I don't believe in what you stand for. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's not true support. Mm -hmm. 
you know, that's me going with the flow and just supporting something or putting my my eggs into something that I truly don't believe is gonna hatch. You, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna support something I truly believe in. Yeah, I just want to add to what you're saying because I, I completely agree with you that you shouldn't support something that you don't believe in. But there's also different levels of support, even for the things that you do believe in. You know what I mean? You got some people that might support you by just, you know what I'm saying, sharing your video. But then you got other people that might be like, yo, let me roll my sleeves up and get dirty with you. You know what I'm saying? Have the convo. And, um, you know what I'm saying? Let, let, let me help you behind the scenes. I'll hold the camera. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll, I'll help you put your script together. With, you know, there's different levels and different ways to support, you know? Oh, definitely. Definitely. But we don't want you even holding the camera. Mm-hmm. You don't believe in the message. Why are you shooting it? Yeah. Wow. No, no. Yeah, I agree Why with you. Why are you That's making it available for that? You get what I'm saying? Oh, you was adding? Yeah, yeah. Okay. In addition to? So like, I agree with what you're saying. I mean, go ahead. Me, oh, I'm sorry. So, oh. and Aziz, I believe what y'all, I mean, yeah, I definitely hear what y'all are saying. I mean, like, I have my own thing going on, and if you, like, what I have going on, you know, there's no gray area there. You either support me or you don't. I don't want you to halfway support me, support me a little bit. You know what I mean? Nah, you either support me or you don't. So I definitely agree with that. You can't have that. Yeah. Oh, all Windsor was saying, huh? Mahogany was having this discussion yesterday. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. So- that's, I think, big, the biggest thing when it comes to support is communicating. Mm-hmm. You definitely have to communicate, and it, it comes off as a cliche thing, but the more you're able to communicate, and the more you're able to be free with your tongue and get out what you need to get out, the better you understand who truly supports you, who's truly behind you, and how strong your team is. I think the biggest thing is, the most important thing is to have a strong team, and to have that strong team is to have strong beliefs. Like, you have to have similar belief systems. You have to have beliefs that are aligned. You know, because we could be friends for I don't know how long, but we're destined we're destined to bump heads when that particular belief system comes up that's gonna divide us. Yes. Well Absolutely. yes, but I also think too, like in this journey, this love is a good journey that we're on, um, we, we, we met a lot of people along the way and we we realized too is that people hold their friends to a lesser standard. So they believe that it's a friend that, you know, they don't have to give the support, like, I guess maybe their significant other. And uh, sorry, they don't expect as much from them because they're just friends. It's like, oh, well, they're just my friend. Like they shouldn't have to do X, Y, and Z. So I think that's another thing too, is it's realizing and setting the, the, the standard for which, who your friends are, what they mean to you and what you expect from them. And I think that that's really important. Like I expect Aziz to show up for me the same way he expects me to show up for him. And not because I'm just around all the time, but because we both acknowledge that that we said that we would show up for each other. So now in turn, if we don't, then we're gonna hold each other accountable. But I, we expect, I expect more from him than I expect from my brother because we're closer. You know what I mean? So I think that, you know, people kind of sweep friendship under the rug. Like, you know, we, we just had this conversation about the whole blood is thicker than water and, you know, friends don't owe you anything and all that other stuff. but. I think people are very uncomfortable holding their friends to a certain standard as well. So they could show up every day. So they could support every day. Support doesn't necessarily mean you come to my graduation or my wedding or you celebrate my, 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 my milestones. It's about, you know, just showing up when you said you was going to show up, being there when you said you was going to be there, being who you said you were or who you said you, you were going to be. You know what I mean? And I believe that, and we believe that people, at, when it comes to friendships, they have a hard time really holding people accountable for stuff like that. Yeah, I, I mean, would you guys agree? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, sure. definitely agree with you, yeah. I mean, you always look at who's the bad guy. Like, when we tell Jerry, me and Jerry sit down, we looked at each other when we first started Accountable Love and being love snobs and love is a group journey. We're like, there's going to be a lot of cliche things out there that we're going to dispel. And we got to look at it like we're going to be the bad guys. But it's not, it's it's something that you got to understand. Like, we're tired of hearing all the fluffy discussions. We're tired of hearing the the weak relationships. We're tired of hearing people saying they don't have this. Every time we talk, they don't have the support we have. We don't understand. 
because we actually building, we built something strong from the ground up. We never understand other people. We've been in relationships where people didn't support us. We've been in relationships where it was hard. But why do we have to have a horrible background to teach something positive? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? True support is just, okay, now we're here now. Like you had a bad childhood, let's say. But me and you are aligned at this point. Yeah, we're not going to say that didn't happen. Your history did happen. But now we're working towards the future. All of that bad and negativity and everything brought you to me. So let's start mm. building from there. Mm. Now, one thing I always tell people, support means both of us. Not I'm going to spend my whole time trying to convince you that life, people are good and life is great and we can have great relationships and I'm not working for you. We're working together. Mm -hmm. So like you gave the definition, you gave one of your definitions like what's to support your dreams. I, how I see it is when we all come together, we start building our dream. Mm. You know what I mean? Your dream is a part of that dream. Right. That person's dream is a part of the dream. So we're going to figure out which one we're going to tackle first. You know what I mean? Like if you, your dream is something that needs immediate attention, we all might have to look in the mirror and put all our dreams to the side to actually focus on your dream because it needs immediate attention. We all have a clear understanding that we're coming back to that. Mm -hmm. But it's really starting to think as one in one accord. One plus one only means one in relationships. Everything else, it means two. Mm. You could add one, 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 one. It still equals one. Every relationship. If you're not looking for that and you're still looking for your individual accolades, your individual goals, you're not really ready for relationships. But the more people you add on, every one, it still equals one. We're working on one accord, one unit. You fall, I fall. Right. I'm invested in you. Right. That's support. Support is getting rid of all your selfish ways and being ready to actually dive in and lift as a group, seeing eye to eye, finding, fighting to find common ground. Not just being comfortable with like, okay, you go that way, you go that way. Now let's say we have somebody that's an enemy. If I'm walking up the street this way, you walking up the street that way, they're gonna get us very simple, right? Mm -hmm. But that's all because you wanted to do your own thing. We fight our whole lives to have our own mind. That's what we do as children. We figuring out who we are, figuring out what we believe in. But as adults, we're trying to actualize it. We're trying to have people around us that actually make sense out of it. Doesn't mean that they're not going to challenge you to think different or have different views. But that's that's perfectly fine when you put when you're actually cooking. But when it's time to eat, we need to eat the same dish. Right. Right. You get what I'm saying? But I don't want to monopolize the time. Let's do it. Let's have this discussion. So there's two words that, I mean, you made some excellent points, Aziz. There's two words that I think of that as you were talking, I was thinking about that at first, when I when you asked the question, think of support. And, and, and I guess I was thinking, okay, how can people support me? Or how can my spouse or how can my significant or how can my friends support me but i think the word that you're saying that i think you're saying that we need to think about is the word us how can, how can we support, support each other yeah. so i mean I'm, I'm i'm hearing everything you're saying because you're saying you know you know it's not about me or it's not all about her the key word that we should be thinking about is us how can we support each other it's a us yeah. and not a me it's not yeah. selfish it's collective Definitely. it is collective and the thing is too like we will be off by saying that we all connect with people because we want we're going to benefit from the relationship some way somehow right so everyone's getting something right. out of the relationship but again if it, if it starts with that and you still going in thinking about yourself and the other person's thinking about themselves or a lot of times you thinking about your, your, what, what they could support you in, they're thinking about what they, what they could support you in, and then they become resentful because they've been supporting you the whole time, even though that's how the relationship started. You know what I mean? So it's really important right. to have those conversations up front, talk about the, us, you know, talk about when you, when you talk about the relationship, talk about, you know, the two people together and what we could do together, as opposed to, you know, this is what I have going on. Even if, like as you said, if, if your if your passion project if your passion project needs immediate does anybody else hear that? Oh. If your passion project needs to be up and running ASAP, then yes, we'll we'll start yours first and then 
mind later, but, the, but it still needs to be talked about. Right. Because all it does is harbor all this resentment and, and you guys are going to start disconnecting eventually. And the relationship is not really going to have a, the, the solid foundation that it needs to, to, maintain, to maintain the relationship. Definitely. Mahogany, you in and out. What's going on, lady? You're on mute. We can't hear you. I was, I was I was eating and all cooking and carrying on, so I had to get that out the way so I could get on here and, and be present. Okay. All right, all right. Because I see you plopping, I see you blinking in and out. Yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah. I, I don't want to make it make the visual messy. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on with you when you hear support, just to bring you in? Um. Well. I'm just going to really be repeating what y'all saying. I, I agree wholeheartedly. Um, as support, support is a commitment um, that we go into understanding that we ride with each other. It's, it's, it's reciprocal. It's not one-sided. Um, but it, it, it will make sense along the way in regard to timing and things. So if your situation is more urgent, then we all pull together to get your situation taken care of. And then, you know, prioritize, prioritize um, to make sure that the whole is getting where the whole needs to be. Common goal, get there, get it done. Definitely see the destination and get there, right? Absolutely. But um, how many people see like supportive relationships around them? Like it's really not, small not supportive relationships. Yeah. Out of ten, how many people see supportive relationships around them? Like you sit and watch and say, "Okay, now that's a supportive relationship." It's not a lot. It's not a it's lot at kind of, all. It's kind of rare. Out of ten, out of ten, like let's say out of ten people, ten ten like relationships you see will be like, the percentage of that. Like Jasmine said, acts of support, not necessarily a fully supportive relationship. Yeah. But how many you would say in percentages? No, I can't call percentages. I'm it's saying very just, cool. obviously it's not factual. Mine would be twenty percent. Mine would be twenty percent, especially with with especially what's going on. But like I'm not trying to tie whatever the case may be, but what's going on with me right now, like I'll keep it real with y'all. Um you know, my where I'm headed in, in the direction I'm heading in, I've lost a lot of friends over the past two weeks, a lot, and it's hurtful. And I believe all of you are Facebook friends of mine, so y'all see what I'm posting, you know what I'm talking about. And it really hurts that you think you used to be friends or had support of someone for so many years, and then when you're in a situation like this, you really see people's true colors, and it's hurtful because you used to ride with a person did X, Y, or Z with a person and you realize when it hits the fan or like, that's what I was saying earlier. There's no, with me right now, there's no gray area. You either with me or you not. That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I've lost some hurtful relationships because of what's going on. So 20% for me. So out of a hundred friends, I probably got 20 that I can really call friends at this point. Or, or That's a lot of friends. That, that's what I would great say. 20, 20 associates, maybe maybe five or ten friends. Maybe. Yeah, I was about to say, cause so do do you think that, that so do you think that your relationships unraveled because they are seeing a part of you now that they never seen before and they're not feeling it? Or did you guys never have the conversation about where you stood uncertain with certain things? I mean, I don't think we ever had to until this stuff started happening. So Mm. Derek, that's a good question. So what I'm saying, so to respond to that, I think, um, you know, me going, to, okay, so I'll just break it down. Me going to a Catholic high school, me eventually graduating from a Catholic college and being around a certain kind of people, I guess people thought that I would react and be like them. And then when stuff really hits the fan, they see what I'm really standing for. And then I see what they not standing for. You know what I'm saying? So it was almost like they expected me to side with them 
and push stuff aside like stuff's not happening out here that I'm not going to stand for. Like, okay, I, I went where I went, but I'm still from and was born and raised in a certain area. So I guess people failed to realize that. And at the end of the day, you got to make a decision. If you don't support where I'm, if, if you don't support where I'm at with it, I have to leave you behind. And, and, and that's just me being real. Oh, look at, look at, look at Darrell, man. Before the first joint this, you was talking about a lot of feelings, man. You <laughs> talking about a lot of feelings. Now you seeing the point of principles, man. Yeah. You're seeing the point of principles, man. We've been talking about accountable love, accountability, holding people accountable for a long time. And that's the foundation. Yeah, that's the framework of love. You know what I mean? If you can't hold a person accountable and survive, the relationship survive, you got to really understand, is, was that a relationship? Right. Mm. Was that truly yeah. a relationship? Yeah, you can't walk with somebody if you're not walking in the same direction. You know what I mean? Definitely. And uh, I think I think part of what's going on now, too, that Darrell probably experienced, like me personally, I'm not even on social media like that. Like, I pop in and out. I, I, I stay away because there's too many people out there just spewing too much unnecessary negativity. Everybody just wants to prove how savage they can be for no for no apparent reason. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, let me just avoid it. Let me just go on about my life. You know what I'm saying? I'll pop in every now and then. So you get that aspect, plus pe plus people's uh, real feelings is coming out right now because they feel like, you know what I'm saying, they got the opportunity to, for that. And now you and now you can actually see that you you two are not walking in the same direction. So how can you walk together? Definitely. I mean, that that that's, that's what we talk about, like, lay down the framework. Because what's going on, and obviously everybody's aware, but we're talking about personal relationships. This is dealing beyond personal relationships. You know what I mean? This is dealing with society. So society is a whole different rule of thumb. You know what I'm saying? But with personal relationships, if you align and every personal relationship is aligned, you can talk to one person from another person's personal relationships. And if y'all align, that brings their five over. You know what I mean? So it all stems from how strong your foundation is. Because if you're getting smacked down and don't have nobody lift you up, yeah, you're going to feel alone. You're going to feel trapped. But if you're getting smacked down, like, that's another point I was going to bring up. I have the ability to have a voice because I have a strong foundation. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I go back, the world is always smacking me down, telling me who I should be, how I should act, how I should conduct myself. You know what I mean? But I have people reinforcing it all the time. We have and not, not reinforcing it like, yeah, you're right. They even telling me like, yeah, you do need to back up. You do need to bow down in this situation. And I know that I can now go to councils or people that are there for me and have a clear understanding of what's going on. A lot of things is happening today because people feel, they feel connected. But like what Jurassic was saying, it's the common enemy. And they're building off the common enemy. But really, we're about holding people accountable. So I'm going to hold my friends accountable, like you said, Darrell. Like, you riding with me, I'm holding you accountable. So understand, this is who I've been, all or nothing. This way I would ask you, where you were all or nothing person before this happened, because then now you got to look in the mirror. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what, that's what I was going to bring up as well. Who, again, like, like things like this shouldn't happen for those, your ex-friends to know what side of the fence you truly stand on. You know what I mean? And, I, and I've been there, you know, I've, I've had friends that didn't really know, I didn't have a strong belief, a belief either way. So if I went hard one way or the other, they looking at me kind of crazy, like, who the hell are you, right? But I, as, I be, as, as, it be, as I became more comfortable owning what I believed in and, and, and moving forward with a principle, then it was easy for people to see who I was in every situation. Everyone knows where I stand in every situation. So there's no surprises. Either they're going to roll with me or not roll with me knowing who I am. You know what I mean? I, it, I'm not going to wait. They're not going to wait for something as, tra as, as tragic as what just happened for them to see what side I stand on. You know what I mean? So I think that, you know, as you go on with, with fostering friendships and really meeting new people and, and, and creating that foundation with people, I think they need to know all of the route. And I get it, like, no one wants to be the angry black person or just be, make it be clear when you're around other people where you stand, but you need to let them know where you stand in and every I, situation. And I think that's, um, and, and, and I saw Jasmine um, say something that was really relevant. 
it, it's my fault for not establishing that boundary. Mm -hmm. first. It is, yeah. One hundred percent. And and as I, you know, you know, you know, as I get older and mature, whatever the case may be, you know, that's what I have to do. You know, establish the, establish where my principles are from the beginning. Establish what I'm going to tolerate, what I'm not going to tolerate. And that's what it is. And I think at the end of the day, I consider people friends who weren't friends in the first place. Mm -hmm. It's really not running from the uncomfortable conversations. Definitely. That's what it all boils down to. Today I had a, a conversation with someone. Then, and yeah, let me, let me add to that before you finish. It's, it's making the uncomfortable, the uncomfortable conversations comfortable. Right. Yeah. I, I, that's I when you know y'all friends. Mm -hmm. So go ahead, Jerry. I just wanted to, you know, make sure that. Well, I no, like I, I work, you know, I, I'm, I have a team. I'm, I'm a boss, and, you know, when you, when you are a boss, you may have to, you have to lay people off and do all that stuff. But, I am cool with a person on my team, and so we had to have the real conversation about, you know, if I had to let you go, how would you feel about me having to let you go but not being able to give you the heads up? And she said she understood it. She understood that I had a job. And that I, I have to side with management, you know what I mean? But is that, uh, is that uncomfortable conversation that had to be had so that we can be comfortable with it? Right. And it's just understand people understanding where you stand at all times. So being upper management, you have to kiss friendships goodbye, or they know where you stand when it comes to the side of management. You have to make those decisions. But I, I had to have a conversation because I wanted her, like I wanted to be clear if she understood it I, I, like the way I understood it. And in order to do that, you had to talk about it. Well, what prompted so, that conversation though? Like, was you recently promoted or, or, you know, no, or, or, I, did you, or did you find her slacking or something like that and realize no, no, that that no, might no, be no. a reality one day? No, not at all. It was just talking about just, you know, people are losing their jobs and, you know, there's a climate that we work, like we have friends that are getting laid off, you know? And so we were just talking about just things in that, in that sense. Okay. And so I just round about, you know, we thought about it and we actually, Jasmine and I had a conversation about it. And so I was like, that's a good question. You know what I mean? And so I took that, that conversation and just had it with, with her because I just was curious to see where she stood because although, yes, I'm not laying off today or tomorrow, thank God, but the reality may be uh, when you're somebody's boss and you are cool with somebody, that may the be the reality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The possibility. So that's the only, that's why I brought it up because I just didn't want it to be this gray area when we could just talk about it. Definitely. So that would be a whole nother thing that would add to support, man. A lot of people like me and Jerry have these arguments all the time. People yeah. are reactive and not proactive. Right. I'm a big person. I believe support, true support is being proactive. Let's have the discussion before all of this happens. Let's have the discussions a hard discussion. So when we walk outside, we invincible because nobody can say something we haven't said to each other. Mm. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, Everybody yeah, has yeah. a clear understanding what goes on. So you, you coming at me or you trying to play on, like I'm going at, let's say me and Jerry having a back and forth in front of a lot of people and she feeling, looking like she looking down and you know, everybody, eats the emotions up regardless who's right or wrong is who's has the most emotion and they're like you all right you x y and z and they try there's the divide and conquer yeah but there's uh -huh. do. don't try to divide us now the yeah <laughs> that just supposedly chewed her out she's now rolling with and what do they now do damn can y'all think for yourselves can y'all do x y z that's what comes out automatically because we're a unit you get what I'm saying? You got to understand there's no dividing us just because we in, we in conflict. And that's a part of being proactive. Absolutely. That's a part of support. That's a part of understanding what my priorities are. I'm not willing to side with this person to lose a friend. Mm. Mm. Absolutely. You get what I'm saying? So I think when it comes to support, it's really having a clear understanding, a clear destination, and clear guidelines to where you stand and what you're invested in. You know what I mean? There's still a lot of people in relationships still trying to figure themselves out through the relationship. Like if you're in relationships that don't prioritize the growth of a unit and everybody's just trying to grow one person all the time, or every, everybody has a friend that is always into something, it's draining. 
You know what I mean? They monopolize the whole relationship. As soon as they walk in the room, they suck the air out. Why? Because in that relationship, we prioritize the emotion of it versus lifting that person and telling that person, listen, if you're not going to get your life in order and get on the same page, like we're here to support you. But if you're not going to be on the same page, there's going to be a problem. You get what I'm saying? There's going to be a problem within our structure because right now you're weakening the whole system. Mm -hmm. You're making it very easy for drama and negativity to just come into the, uh, into everything we do. You get what I'm saying? Especially if y'all moving in a positive direction. So I mean, support is about truly being proactive, like we was like we was talking about versus reactive. Like have the discussion. Mm -hmm. I don't need us to like me being ready to fire the person for it to come up. It's coming up because that's my role. It may be a absolutely. So I'm thinking of all the ways our friendship can fall apart and I want to patch the holes. Mm. Well, it's just establishing what the expectation is. Definitely. We've seen Reese. Reese wrote about her friends too. She said she has a few friends, the ones who prioritize their relationships, emotion, emotional health, which is, I think there is a difference. When I say emotions, I'm just talking about the emotions of, just reacting to emotion, not actually the lacking, lacking the balance. Yes. Yeah. Being emotionally intelligent means that you, I'm angry right now. You don't show out to show you, <laughs> you explain your anger and you That's give a good, people yeah. a chance to have a clear understanding of where your anger stems from, and where your anger comes from. You see what I'm saying? Because I can be angry and I can think it's a hundred percent on point. But once I, the person explains it to me, I'm like, oh, okay. I really had no reason to be angry. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like there's been times I, I went that route, you know? And I had to get checked for it. You get what I'm saying? So I think it's very important for us to really understand where emotions lie with, and what, what support truly is. Because like we said, I said in the beginning, it's the heartbeat of every relationship, a healthy and equal relationship. If you don't feel supported, and when I say feel, meaning it's something that lifts you. When I say feel, I'm talking about inspired by. If you're not inspired by the relationships you're in, you really need to really understand why is that the case or not the case. Mm -hmm. So I want to kind of go back to Facebook. So Demetra, remember in the beginning when we asked what support she gave, she what support meant to her, and she said that someone, even if you don't agree, they still support you. So she said that more like. I believe in one religion belief, but you believe something different. So uh, what do you guys, what do you guys think about that? Oh, can you say that one more time? You said, I believe. So, so Demetria said that she, so basically she said that initially, oh, I don't even know if she's, I'm assuming she's she, <laughs> um, said that initially that support is when you are getting support, even if you don't agree, right? And so then I asked her to elaborate on that. And she basically said more like, I believe in one religion belief, but you believe, but you believe something different. So I can, I mean. So yeah, I, yeah, I want to. Yeah, I was going to say, can I respond to that one? So of course you can. has Mahogany's name too. Yeah. Uh, oh, I, I shared, I shared my, uh, my link. That's probably, okay. that's probably uh, April. Oh, what's okay. going on, April? Hi, April. No, yeah, how you All doing, right. April? But go ahead. <laughs> nah, I was so wondering like, why I was saying I left and then I came. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Okay. It's fine. Go ahead, Darrell. So I'm going back on, and I admit I was wrong here. I fought to a tooth and nail about the agree to disagree, you know, all that kind of stuff. Obviously, I feel different now. That's like me being, so especially she used religion, right? Mm -hmm. I'm a Catholic Christian or, or, you know what I'm saying, Christian. And I believe what I believe. I couldn't date atheists. We don't. We would never be able to. You're an atheist. You don't believe in nothing. You don't believe in this. You don't believe in that. But I go to church every single Sunday. There's no way that we'd be able to coexist. Like, I I could not support your views. You obviously don't support mine. There's no way that we can. Like, there's no support there. I don't see how that could work out. That's just coming from me. But an atheist is is is, is extreme. So what about? So you're a Catholic. So what if could you date a Muslim? 
<laughs> Let me choose my words wisely right here. Yeah, so think about that. Sure, sure. Why you oh, got to the words wisely? Why you not convicted, Mr. Convicted? Sure. <laughs> like you guys, you gotta be convicted. I'm not, y'all not gonna put me in there. Like, nah. I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, so I mean, answer the question for real, for real. I mean, why not? You know, why not? If you, they I mean, can't you support it. you in your faith. That's why. Not. But they can't. Yeah, they won't be going to church with you. They can't Sunday. truly support you in your faith. So yeah, if y'all both it's the agree, same thing like, you said about atheists. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. the same difference. They yeah. can't support you in your faith. They can't. So All like. Right, it does, it does, I mean, we do, a lot of people believe, okay, a faith is, a faith is, is your personal faith and your personal belief. And right. obviously we don't want to go into that whole topic too far because we're talking about supporting one another. And I think that's a form of support, but yeah, it's yours, but actually it's written in these faiths where there's a head, there's a teacher and everybody should fall in line to that faith. So you're going by dating, you're going outside of your actual faith. Right. By dating somebody outside your faith. Right. Mm -hmm. In every faith <laughs> I've, I've read on, it says teach that same faith to everybody in your household. Right. Everybody that you faith. connect with. So yeah, it's, 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 it's cool to like go through the whole political game where you like, okay, let me stay a political because we are on Facebook and you will get shot down. <laughs> But saying, because it seems like you're condemning a person. But when it comes down to it, we're talking about personal relationships. We're not talking about, can you now have respect for somebody else's faith? Or can you have a discussion about each other's faith and learn more about each other's faith? That's two different things. You're talking about mm -hmm. marrying a person in that. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that can so happen. You should just be clear. This is personal relationships. So personal relationships, you should get out of it. The re you should be reinforced on your beliefs. Mm -hmm. So everybody that's working their hardest to just maintain their own self and all this other stuff in relationships, we look at them like y'all counterproductive. Right. Yeah. Like you get in relationships because you have a tr you have a great sense of self, mm -hmm. and you get an into relationship with somebody because you know that person is going to enhance who you are. Mm -hmm. So you already you, you're so good, you have a great sense of self, and you understand yourself so much that you know you can't do it alone. So that's why you join relationships. And you should pick people who actually empower you to do the positive things in your life. Right. And actually challenge you to stay away from the negative things in your life. Absolutely. So yeah. when you think about it, I mean, be you got to be dead set on it. Like, yeah, I probably yeah. can't X, Y, and Z because, yeah, I would rather marry a Christian woman. You know what I mean? Because right then and I there, we're my kids. In our foundation. We're allowed in our mm -hmm. core. Whether you feel we delusional or not, whether God across the street feels we delusional or not, the point is we delusional together. <laughs> Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what you signed on for. That's a personal relationship. So when you look at support and the core support, the core, your core values have to be supported. And your faith is, it should mirror, like that should mirror your core values or what do you truly believe in? Mm-hmm. And it shouldn't be the all all the way extreme for you to see that either. You know what I mean? Definitely. It could be like, listen, I don't eat this right. and you eat this. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> exactly. Like, it's, it, it can be that simple because it's your yeah. personal life. I don't do pork eaters. This is what I'm saying. It's a personal, it's a personal choice. And you could look at a person like, I didn't say we won't be friends. I'm not possibly going to be in your, like, you're not going to be my partner. Like there's uh, love yeah. with there's tears to it. I didn't say I won't talk to you because you eat pork, but I don't want you in my immediate circle because when you eat pork, people's gonna think I eat pork. So now <laughs> you can see how much the people they are aligned with represent them in this climate now. They're starting to see that. But we've been explaining that to people forever. And they'd be like, I don't understand why I can't be friends. They're trying to control me. And I'm looking at them like, I'm trying to tell you when stuff hits right. the fan, everything that that person represents. Understand, you're, you're, you're co-signing by being around them. Yeah. Like, you're co-signing. So it's counterproductive. You're just hanging out with them because they make you feel away, Or mm -hmm. they give you what you need in moments. Mm -hmm. 
But when the hard stuff come up, now they're like, yo, I put the dude through medical school and he left me. Because he didn't yeah. have the core value. Mm -hmm. You seen his potential. You seen he was intelligent. You seen, like I always tell people, don't marry a person because they're a good artist. Don't do that. <laughs> don't fall in love with their art. You gotta fall From in their love talent, with their talent, yeah. Don't fall in love with their talent. There's a lot of people that's amazing at speaking. There's a lot of people that have amazing talents. And I appreciate them all the time. All like, so so I can suck. differentiate. Because I want to know who you are as a human being before I mm -hmm. attach my name to you. What do you stand for? But I could admire your talent. That's what I that's what got everybody in 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 the in this loopy situation with R. Kelly. Mm -hmm. It's like <laughs> now now you don't know uh now I can't listen to him because <laughs> come on man. Come on, man. <laughs> hey, yeah, man. I agree. And just to mm -hmm. go back to um what we was talking about with the support, like you know what I'm saying, like I'm I'm somewhat similar to the railway, you know what I'm saying? My beliefs is based on the Bible, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I definitely couldn't link up with somebody that doesn't worship the same God as me, you know what I mean? Because, like, even in the Bible, it tells you, like, God told Solomon, like, don't marry women from foreign lands because they'll turn your heart from me, you know what I'm saying? So, like, that's, the, that's what I'm looking at. And then, just to add to what you were saying, like, you wouldn't be close with somebody on a personal level that eats pork if you don't eat pork, because people would think you eat pork, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm like, per, like, to be honest, I'm homophobic when it comes to men, like not when it comes to women. I don't care if you're a stud, a femme, whatever. I, I got yeah, no problem being around women, but I feel uncomfortable being around gay men because I don't want people to think I'm gay just because I'm hanging out with them. You know what I'm saying? Well, I think that's a personal choice, but if you could identify them as a human being, I think that's where we're all trying to go. Yeah. That's where we're all trying to go. Like, you could have personal choices, per personal preferences. I think this is where a lot of people go wrong. You can have personal preferences, but how do you treat them when it's time to, to treat them as an equal human being? No, I treat all humans as humans. Like, even if I talk oh. to a child, I'm going to speak to them, like, with, with a level of respect. You know what I mean? So, like, I don't feel like anybody should, should be disrespected because of how they choose to live their life. You know what I mean? I'm just saying I feel uncomfortable being around certain people, though, but I still treat them with respect. I mean, but yeah, I would probably, I would probably look deeper into that. Yeah. I would look deeper into that because like being uncomfortable is a whole different than having a principle. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you can't really battle feeling. So being uncomfortable is a feeling. It just shows so, that there's an insecurity there. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's an insecurity there. So you really need to examine it because mm -hmm. If one thing is I don't support this person's lifestyle or way of living is one thing. You get what I'm saying? That's one whole different thing. I feel uncomfortable, whole different understanding. Because you gotta understand the same way you feel when somebody clutches their purse because of who you yes. are. Mm -hmm. The same way they feel. Yeah. That had nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. That had nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? So until you start putting yourself in the shoes of other people, you're going to truly understand why it's important to have set principles and be able to explain it versus I'm uncomfortable. That's but a scary right, so, word for me. So would you feel comfortable going to the gay bar and having beers with, with, with the same dudes week after week? I would feel yeah. very week, Like, I mean, the, the same dudes week after week, y'all hanging out, y'all at each other's house. You know what I'm saying? Y'all going out to ball games together on a regular basis? I personally would feel very comfortable because the cat obviously I support I support a person's right to choose their sexuality. So yeah. because I support it, I'm cool with it. They could assume I'm gay because I support it. Doesn't mean I'm gay. But when we was talking about like when Mahogany said I don't support people eating pork. So that's a whole different understanding. If I didn't support homosexuals, yeah, I'm not going to be around. But I'm not going to have a feeling about it because once I start feeling something, I got to investigate it. That's my problem. Yeah. Not their problem. Mm. That just gives me a sign. Somebody makes me angry, it shows me that there's something going on with me. You get what I'm saying? So anytime I'm feeling mm. something, mm. I look at it, I look internal. What's happening with me that's causing that? When it's a principle, when I can identify this is something of hate or it's a principle, 
whole different thing. I'm clear on why I'm doing what I'm doing. Yeah, I mean, hate is a strong word, though. Like, I, I'm not no, trying I to say give you any No, you said, no, no. I don't, want, I don't want people to assume that. I mean, I think you said what you said. You said yeah. that, that you have an emotion towards you. And I'm saying that that's dangerous. Like, that's always been dangerous for me. Anytime I hear somebody talk emotion, you'll hear me walk out of the room because it gets very dangerous. A person can feel a way and can ruin your whole life. Change up everything. Like, I went to school with multiple um, ethnicities. You. you know what I mean? <laughs> and it was just like certain rooms, you're like, I feel, I'm out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm out. I don't want no problems. It does control the it does control the narrative at this point. There's no proof behind it. There's no clear guidelines. You can't it. argue. You can't argue feelings. So I think to better support you right now, because this is what we're talking about. I think you really truly need to examine the feeling of uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, but aren't isn't that isn't that like a natural emotion that everybody experiences? You're comfortable in certain environments and you're uncomfortable in other environments. Yeah, but there's a reason for it. Yeah, there's that's, reason. yeah. something's triggering that discomfort. So mm -hmm. he, what he's yeah. saying is you, you have to investigate what is triggering the discomfort. I'm not saying yeah, I'm already that identified it. Like I don't want to be identified with that. You know what I'm saying? Like you know. So why, why is it okay for you to hang out? Why would it be okay for you to hang out with me? Because you're a female. I'm still gay. You're going to be identified with hanging out with a gay female. That Definitely. could still put you in the gay the gay category. Definitely. The gay community, yeah. Yeah, I'm cool with females, though. See, that's the point. You got to figure out what, what it is. What is the difference? Because there, there obviously is something if one triggers you, but it is because it's, not, it's, it's obviously not the lifestyle. Otherwise, you wouldn't be banging with me either. Yeah, the same way that the same way that Darrell couldn't really explain why he couldn't date a Muslim, but he could definitely not date a date an atheist, is the same reason why you need to probably take some time to think about why you're so uncomfortable around gay men. Hold on, that, but not gay, on. not gay women. Uh, yeah, I mean it's 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 a topic, and I I mean I understand that we're talking about support. And we just got sidetracked, but it's a topic that needs to be talked about. Like, no, I agree. It'd be clearly, you have to clearly, and this goes with support. You have to clearly understand what you're signing up for. Because in this certain situation, I could be hanging with you, and one of my friends is gay. They walk up to me and give me a pound. It's like, yo, what's going on? Throw a little flirt jab at me, and you looking at me crazy. And I'm <laughs> like, how are you not comfortable? I'm fucking with you. Because I'm very comfortable. A woman I don't like flirts with me is the same way of a man I don't like flirts with me. Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. Like, I don't think I'm unattractive. So why would I eliminate one person from finding me attractive than the other? But you might now react a certain way and I might have to cut you off. Because we not aligned. It's like, yo, no, I'm not, I'm not, I, you know I, who I, I am. You know what I deal with. But at the same time, I support it. That's the difference. I support it, so I feel comfortable in my skin. But was I always comfortable? I had to explore it. Why? Mm -hmm. Because just feeling something is not good enough for me. It's not good enough. I need to understand it. And I understood it was, oh, well, a male, sometimes the male, the male when, when a male is gay, he's flamboyant at times, so he acts like a female, and there's levels of, with how he acts that a male is attracted to because they're attracted to females. But he happens to be a male. So it makes you uncomfortable, uncomfortable psychologically because there's something about any femininity that you're attracted to. Feminine energy, yeah. Anything. Anybody acting feminine, you feel a little attraction to it because you are attracted to women. Not anybody. I love feminine energy when it comes from a female. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying you're attracted to it. Whether you want to admit it or not, you're attracted to it, is what I'm saying. And it makes you feel uncomfortable because it's a man. That same person acting that way, and it's a woman, you're not as uncomfortable. That's all I'm saying. Doesn't make you gay. Doesn't make you gay at all. Yeah, it doesn't make you <laughs> it just You just have a clear understanding of who you are, where you at, where you come from. But based on your 
based on your religious background, that's a whole different story. Yeah. That's a whole different story. If that's what your principles are, religiously, X, Y, and Z, but then you can't hang out with anybody yet. Across the board, based on your religion. Oh, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Go ahead. I'll get this straight. So, saying is, I want to clarify. Can't hear you, brother. Yeah, yeah, breaking up. All right. It's too long. I'm not breaking up. Then I'm going to address that. You're like in slow motion right now. Yeah, something's happening. Yeah. It's my internet. I'm sorry. Oh, you got that Teddy Riley? You got that Teddy Riley internet? Go ahead. Can you hear me now or no? Well, we got a little, it's a little shaky. Oh, no, what I'm saying They're is. They're like slurring. You know, so basically, it's definitely the internet. Can, can you hear me now? No, you sound, you no. sound like you are talking. Something. Maybe you should, you should go out and come back in, see what happens. But, you know, drastic, I think you opening up that topic is perfect because that's another part of support that we wanted to really express. Like the ability to say what's on your mind. Yeah. Yeah, and I say that, you know what I'm saying? I, I say it with my chest to whoever. Like I don't I don't deceive nobody. I let it be known who I am. You know what I'm saying? One of my Definitely. close female friends, you know what I'm saying, is gay. I got no problem being around her, you know what I mean? When so, if some of her friends come around, you know what I mean, I might get a little uncomfortable and breeze, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna treat anybody disrespectfully. None of that, you know what I mean? I got no hate, no contempt towards nobody. I just feel uncomfortable in certain environments. Yeah, I mean, and I, I, like I say, I appreciate honesty. Like that's the important ingredient of, of support as well. Being able to just talk and express your thoughts. And at the same time where it now comes back is being able to accept what you express and how the other person took it in and start the dialogue. Yeah. Don't just express it and then limit their 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 reaction or their response. Like st always go in being honest with a with the expectation that discussion is going to be started. Mm -hmm. And I think that's true support too. A lot of people run from certain topics. Like I would never say that to this person, and I would never say that to this person. And like what you said, it may be disrespectful to do X, Y, and Z. But my thing with you is like this is your close friend. Why you can't ask her friends questions to get to know them a little more? Mm -hmm. Like, that's always my thing. Just be honest about how you feel instead of running from the situation. Learn from the situation. No, no like, I told her the same thing I told you. Like, you know what I mean? So it's no, 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 no. I'm like, talking about when her friends come around. Instead of breezing. Instead yeah, of breezing, instead of not really connecting with learn them. Learn from the situation. Yeah. Put yourself in that uncomfortable situation and learn. You get what I'm saying? Like, we yeah. have a whole accountable love understanding, right? And we are challenged all the time. Yo, it sounds too militant. People should be able to love the way they want to love. But then you like, what does love mean? I don't know. I mean, they're challenging your definition with no definition at all. Absolutely. I'm not Absolutely. discussing anything with somebody that doesn't have a belief system of their own. We can go back and forth about conflicting beliefs. I can't go back and forth with a person that got the whole world to throw at me. Mm -hmm. They have no belief at all. Darrell wants to be brought back in. Oh, all right. Let me, <laughs> let me hook him up. Because <laughs> they've been putting my time out. <laughs> Mahogany I mean, got Jerry, him there's some people that maybe they responding, they asking questions. I don't know. I just see we got caught up. We no, want to keep so everybody engaged. Yeah, I got um, you, brother. Thank you, Mahog. I'm like, damn, they're going to leave me out of here? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You back. You back like you never left. So y'all can hear me now? Yeah, remember yeah, everybody. Yeah, hear you. Everybody who there yeah, is, share, share it. on Facebook, share. Get more people involved. We want more people having these discussions so, you know, we can really, you know, start spreading accountable love. and really uh, tell, tell, tell April to say hi. What's your thoughts? April, say hi. What's your thoughts? I'm still here, by the way. <laughs> All right. We know what you're doing, brother. 
Yeah, you're ready. But we appreciate you on mute, April. You on mute. The bottom of the screen, just press the microphone. I got I unmute you. Let me see. Maybe we're pressing at the same time. Go ahead, unmute yourself. I think we and you was yeah, there go you ahead. go. There we go. Yeah. There you go. Get me? Yeah. 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 I, I I I totally agree. Like, um, I, I wanna say that that's the thing that people fail to understand is when you feel a certain way it gives you an opportunity to learn who you are. It's, it's not about, um, you know, it's not about, if you deny yourself from learning that, then you'll never understand what triggers you. Definitely. So like you said, it, 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 may not, it may not have anything to do with his sexuality, but there's something that's, that's, that prevents him from being comfortable in that environment. For example, if you go around a cop, like I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> but I feel uncomfortable because of a situation I was in with a police officer. So even though I'm correct, I always feel uncomfortable, you know? So I, I acknowledge that. So it's the same thing even, you know, it doesn't matter whether it's a gay person or an environment. If you feel uncomfortable there, there's a reason why, and you need to address that. You need to understand that because it helps you learn about yourself. Definitely. That's I, think, part of it. I think part of it is like, I just don't want to see certain stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, like I, I just don't like the flamboyance and stuff like that. Like I'm, like I remember I had, I don't want to put too much out there because I don't want to put nobody out there. Um, let me think how I could word this. Now, nah, matter of fact, let me just say it. I accepted a friend on on Facebook that I knew from from back in the day, and I knew the dude was gay. You know what I'm saying? But then when I looked at the post and I'm seeing the level of flamboyance, I'm like, nah, I, I, I can't, I can't even associate with you on Facebook. Like, it's, you, you're doing too much. You know what I mean? So it's, well, it's just certain stuff I don't want to see or be around, you know? Well, I understand that. That's a that's a yeah. totally different scenario, yeah. though, because I, as a gay woman, I, I I get people, gay people off my page all the time behind stuff like that. And I'm gay. Or, even, hetero, or even, even heterosexual people be doing some, they be wilding out sometimes. Yeah, and exactly. exactly. Things, that, things that don't align with you are going to make you uncomfortable, period. Exactly. But we're, we're not talking about, like, someone speaking out of line or 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 you know um being being something other than they're not we're talking about someone just coming in your in your environment and immediately that making you feel put off i mean i think it's bigger than that what i'm saying is don't use feeling words so like mm -hmm. i'm not have i'm yeah, exactly. taking that person off my page because they they're not in line with what I want to what I want on my thing. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. They're not in line with my good. practices. They don't represent me right. So I'm gonna now take them off my page due to that. But it's not because I'm uncomfortable. Like I actually sat there, invited them to my page, learned what they was about, got a clear understanding. Like I'm big on. Okay, that might have been a post. Oh, that might have been three posts. Oh, this is like the fifth post. <laughs> I didn't see nothing of validity yet, nothing that's going to enhance me yet. So I might like I might say, okay, you might can learn something from me. So I might hide you. I do that. Or I might actually, you know, say, listen, you can't you can't be on my page. I don't want to be associated with this. Right. A a uh, drastic. Yeah. Real, so I'm gonna talk. So I was so reluctant to say this, but at this point I don't care because I'm comfortable, right? I kind of felt the way you well, felt before. You. I, I'm keeping it real. Um, I've definitely felt the way you felt before. You know what I'm saying? Situations happen. So I currently live in a house with two men who are gay. I'm not gay at all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And to the boundaries thing, before I even walked in the door, I established what my boundaries were, what I wasn't trying to be around, whatever the case may be. But what I'm saying is, like, I live my life where I live my life. I'm not gay. I'm comfortable in my skin. You know, I love females, whatever the case may be. So I, so I think to, to Aziz's point is once you get to a point where you're comfortable and, and you realize they're going to do what you're, they're going to do, they're going to do, whether you're there or you're not there. They're going to say what they're going to say. Whether I mean, it, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? As long as you're comfortable in your own skin, you know what you like, you know what you get down with. Like, I've come to realize 
I'm the person with the insecurity. It don't really affect you. It doesn't affect me no more. I come in, I say, what's up? If they have someone over, I stay downstairs where I live at. I don't go upstairs until tomorrow morning because I don't want to, you know what I mean? But it's they're going to do that regardless. Whether you're there, whether you're around it or not, they're going to live their life regardless. And, and I realized, you know, at the end of the day, instead of me being insecure and worried about what they're doing, let me focus on what the rail's doing and live my life. And I'm even going to go one step further. Don't walk away from the room because you're uncomfortable. Walk away because you have a strong principle behind you. Mm-hmm. Something a lot more valid than your, than how you feel. Than a feeling. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Because that is condemning people. Like, however you want to... Like, why every time I come, he walk out? <laughs> you know what I mean? No, like, people I'm just, notice. I mean, people but notice. I was there before. I was there before. Yeah, That's people why know. That's why it was drastic Yeah, if that question's asked, I'll answer it, though. You know what I'm saying? I don't pull no punches. No, I'm not saying you won't answer it, but what I'm saying is that's your time to really get to know the human being. Because you've been on here talking about really getting to know the human being and looking at the other aspect of it. You know what I'm saying? But it is important to get to know the human being and not like the human being. Because this is what causes us to have that division in general. We talk we talk a good political game, but then when it's something that we're not right. interested, we really don't even try to get to know the human being. Right. Yeah, but we upset when people do it to us. Definitely. Right. Oh. And Jerry, you make a you make a valid point. I'm up here talking, you know, black Black Lives Matter and this, this and that, and people not liking me because I'm black or the case may be. I'd be stereotypical if I say I don't like gay people or lesbians or be because that's what they are. It's the same thing. Like it, it like I, I I'm a straight hypocrite. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't mm-hmm. think I fall in that category because I because I wouldn't go to the extreme of saying I don't like somebody because of their sexual orientation. You know what I mean? Whatever they choose to do with their life, that's their choice. Right. It doesn't you know what I'm saying? It doesn't affect my life one way or another. You know what I mean? I just don't feel comfortable being around it. What I was saying yeah. is that's what I'm saying where it gets political because yeah. not liking is not allowing yourself to get to know a person. I didn't say you. I didn't say that you are disliking them or hating them or have a strong opinion about them because you don't know them. I'm saying you're not even taking the time to get to know them, so you're not right. taking the time to see if you like you're them. You're closed off, yeah. But that's where I'm at. So you are yeah. saying you don't like them because of their sexuality because you're not even giving them a chance to see if you like them because they're a friend of a friend. It's not like a random person walking down the street. It's a friend of a friend. So if my friend come, me and me and my friend come to your crib and you're not even interested in getting to know them, you are saying, I'm not interested. That's not, that's not liking me. That's not disliking me. You indifferent. And what's the opposite of love? Indifference. Hate, yeah. It's not hate. It's indifference. Yeah, it's, uh... it's indifference. It's not even giving a person a chance uh-huh. to, like, I don't like you. I hate, like, at least you're on the extreme because you gave the person a chance. You really don't like them. I think mm-hmm. See, this is so this is so important because you think about what's happening to us now with us all this racism. They're doing the right. same exact thing to us. Right, right. Mm-hmm. You do that, then right. you are just like them. You know, right, what's right. We never change the way things are in the world if we don't recognize who we are and what how we fit into that same box. Right, and it and starts and it starts with a feeling. But it all starts with having clear understandings. And going back to the topic, having clear understandings of what support is. Having conversation. Mm-hmm. Having clear understandings yeah. of what support is, defining your terms, being clear in your delivery, having a clear understanding of what you stand for principle-wise and your beliefs should evoke an emotion. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, when you have a strong belief, that's where your emotions should stem from, but you have a clear understanding of why your emotions are there because you have a strong belief. This person... I don't let this person in my house because this person stole from me. Right. It wasn't because I don't like them and I'm looking at their lifestyle. They stole from me. So therefore, I do have that a reason not to trust them based on track record. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So support is also being aligned. But again, I'm around a bunch of people and I'm not cool with some people because they supported people I don't support. Right. I'm cool with them. But I don't support the people. So I don't support them. So it gets to a weird place where you got to really decide what your principles are, mm-hmm. what you're clear on, and who you support. Because if you hurt somebody I love, we automatically have a problem. Right, right, right. No matter right. how much I like you. 
Right, right. But there's no people doubt. that's like neutral. They're like, well, I'm not really in it. I like both of y'all. Yeah, it's no such thing. There's no priority because they're 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 prioritizing self. If me and Jerry, <laughs> me, Jazz, and Jerry are close, Jerry does something to Jazz. I don't agree with. I don't talk to Jerry until she clears it up with Jazz. Yeah, but what about if Stuart and Troy? What if, what about if Stuart and Troy had a problem I'm with each other? I'm the person. I'm, I'm I fully believe. If I believe that they were right, I'm going with them. I'm aligning myself with them. And until yeah. we get things together, because we all should be aligned. But I'm aligning myself with the person that I 100% agree was in the right. I mean, but I feel we're trying to aligning himself with right over wrong. Definitely. Principle, always, always, principle over everything. My yeah, that's always, that always should complete. be the understanding amongst, like, amongst the people that I deal with. We already know it's not a it's not a you versus someone else situation. It's a right versus wrong situation. And I'm always going to be on the side of right. So you can't feel the way if you're not aligning with the right. You just got to get with, you got to get where you belong. I'm holding but are you saying that? But are you saying that when you align yourself with right, that you cut the person off that's in the wrong? Well, no, they, 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 they got to do the work to get, get on the right side of things. Definitely. That's what this is about. I'm this telling is you I'm not giving you the cushion. You in a box, you gotta look in the mirror and you gotta come back to us. You gotta apologize. Like, I wanna show you that you're accountable. Be accountable. We're not gonna be neutral here. Be, let's be accountable first so we move in in one unit. Me and me and the other person could be wrong. But we have to have the discussion. That's what I'm saying. The whole point is common ground. How we move in and we're not on common ground. How we are forced and we're not on common ground. And just to clear something up, if if they both decided that they're not going to speak and speak to me until I apologize, it's going to be known that that's what's happening. I'm mm -hmm. not going to just be cut off. They're just not going to be like, you know what? We're not we're not effing with you. It's going to be like, well, we we've been friends for so long that we have that understanding. But in the in the case that we didn't have that understanding then they would tell they would explain to me we can't move forward until you until this is until you make this right or until you want to make this right because you're not gonna they're not gonna force me to do something i don't want to do obviously um but it's gonna we're gonna have a conversation so i can always know where they stand let me tell you what the illusion is the illusion is everybody paints this unconditional love picture mm -hmm. so what makes love valuable the fact that you could lose it Mm. That's what makes love valuable. If it's unconditional, it loses its value. Mm -hmm. So what makes love valuable is the fact that you have to show up every day and keep feeding it and feeding it and feeding it so you don't lose it. Absolutely. What do they say a poor person with food? They cherish it. Love should be cherished. Love should be something that you wake up every day. There's conditions. They even, everybody knows. Anybody that ever believed in God in any form or fashion knows that everybody's not making it to the into heaven, right? Like that's what right. so right. God has conditions. Like don't believe right. in the illusion. So every relationship is fragile. It only takes one move to lose it. So you make sure that you feed it. If me and you are going back and forth and we're close. I'm not letting too much time go by before we reconcile. Because mm. the more space between us, the more mm. comfortable it becomes with us not being around each other. Mm. And I'm not willing to risk it. So if you're, you're a person that I hold dear, I'm making sure that you're a priority. I don't care what else is going on in my life. If I gotta leave work, yo, listen, I'm, I gotta leave half a day. I understand my priority. Because guess what? My support is there. They find me tomorrow, who's going to be there to support me? Right. Uh -huh. You are. So I'm invested. So that's what the difference is. So yeah, we're going to understand, like, if you, me, you, and Jerry hang out drastic, and you do something that's left, yeah, we're going to feel it from both ends. Because you did it to her, you did it to me. I'm not a fool to believe you won't do it to me, because <laughs> you did it to her. You did it to her, it shows character. So I'm all I'm looking at all the time is your character, what you stand for, mm -hmm. what you believe in, what yeah. you invest in, what you willing to die for. Yeah. Who's on your priority list? 
If you're going to the club versus hanging out with your, your going to the club all the time versus hanging out with your children on a Friday, that's crazy to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right off the tip, I'm like, yo, I'm done. Yeah. And it's like, yo, but we've been through so much. Okay. I go, I'm going to go over Friday and go hang out with your kids. Like, let me go hang out with them. Because they need some role model. But that's what we have this understanding. Like, we still have children and we're entitled to our own lives. We have friends and we're entitled to our own lives and our own beliefs and our own... Everything affects somebody else you love. Everything. Don't believe the hype. Absolutely. It's all hype. It's all hype because it's self-promotion. Self-promotion keeps everything from connecting. I tell you, do you, do you, do you. You're going to get hurt. Do you. Yeah. You're going to do you. I can That's now whisper in your ear, whisper in Mahogany's ear, whisper in Jerry's ear, and everybody gets a different message, and I can keep on keeping y'all divided. Y'all all talk to each other, it becomes a whole different ballgame. I can't get nothing past y'all. I'm going to drop the bomb like, yo, do y'all think for yourselves? <laughs> y'all lie. Like, I'm going to keep on finding ways where I can disconnect one person. So don't believe that because you cut somebody off or you disconnect from somebody, you're the bad person. It depends on why you disconnected from them. Yeah. That establishes who you are as a human being. Like, everybody says people make mistakes. So impulses make mistakes, which is our animal side. Human beings correct mistakes. That's what makes you human. Uh -huh. The ability to be accountable and correct your mistakes. If I go and sleep with a woman because she looked good, that's my animal side. That's impulse. That's not a mistake. It's impulse. Mm -hmm. It's the side that's not thinking, absent of thought. I'm just doing. But with the work I'm going to put into now, say, listen, I messed up, X, Y, and Z, never again, be disciplined, make sure I own up, make sure I put in everything I got to put in to get back in the good graces with the person I'm with. That goes to a whole nother understanding. <clears throat> that makes me human. So we got to raise the standard of humanity, man. But also your animalistic side ha made a choice, though. So I just want to put that out there. Like, even though it was impulsive, it was still a choice. Absolutely. So, I mean, I want to get off my soapbox, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> it just always, it always feels thought when people believe, like, the person disconnecting is usually the bad guy. Yeah. Like, I disconnect from anybody that's going to make me a worse person than what I was. Absolutely. Mm. Mm. They don't make you greater. Anybody. It could be my mother. Good. If you're going to bring a side of me out that's not worth it, I'm disconnected before I become a worse human being. Yeah. In two seconds. Mm -hmm. That's the point. It's not disconnecting because oh, you just messed up. Is this connecting because you're like, at this point, we can't, we're not, we're not clicking. That We're not on the same ideals. We're not in the same place. We're bringing the worst out of each other. But, you know, I see everybody new. <laughs> you know Listen, if you strengthen, you strengthen your energy, right? And uh, you have people around you and they see how you move. And they know they're not moving in that same space. They'll drift off from you. Definitely, definitely. Not only I'm a witness. Start calling you. Names. I'm a witness. I'm a witness. I'm a witness. I heard that. <laughs> definitely. I mean, I, I read a post. I mean, I repost all the time with this, but you know, I hate a judgmental person, and I'll be looking like, aren't you judging the person by calling them judgmental? Yeah, right. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Who are you to make somebody judgmental and put that label on somebody? Just like they put a label on you, you just put a label on them. Mm -hmm. We all put in labels. Now just ask if it fits. Mm -hmm. Does it fit? Ask questions, yeah. Yeah. If the label fits, change it. Don't change the label. You're being judged. You go to court, you're being judged. We ain't judge every... Every, every moment, day, every, every time every you skip past the post life. and don't hit like, you're judging the person. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's every a time. You don't hit but like. Even when you, but even yeah. when you do hit like, yeah, it's a judgment. When you do hit like, you're judging the person. Yeah, whether you put Speaking like, of hit like, low. I'm going to start liking my post, man. 
You know what I mean? Like, if I don't agree with everything in the post, I don't hit like. As like that's who I am. It could be one thing. I'm like, I'm not hitting post. I'm not hitting like because I'm aligned with it. Now it becomes yeah. this is what it is. But I'll have the discussion with the person. But as you shouldn't know, that's you. That's how it should be. That's what if I'm you want to agree. So that's so that's how I feel about. I'm kind of getting political, but it, but it, it's the same thing. <laughs> the same thing. If you we got five minutes, brother. All right, so I'm gonna hurry up, right? If you <laughs> it's still sweet. In my opinion, if you vote for a president, right, and you like some of their views, but you don't like all their views, you have to, you're voting for everything that comes along with that. The good and the bad. I the agree. negative and the positive. I agree. But I think those is two different extremes because you're voting for a leader. So there's no way in hell you're going to like everything they stand for. That's the difference. As you like the majority of what I'm they talking stand about for. just the post. That you're gonna be aligned with. That's a whole different thing. That's a smaller, a smaller version of it. If it's a person, I know a person comes with so many different facets. So I'm judging the person on percentages, track record, what they show, what they're consistent with. So I'm never gonna expect a person to be perfect. What I expect right. a person to be excellent. That's my expectation. Everybody around me should be excellent, should be striving for excellence and whatever they want to do. We all lazy in areas because we don't care. Mm -hmm. But the areas we care about should be aligned and we should be excellent in them. We shouldn't mm. settle for being average. Absolutely. I agree. Absolutely. I agree 100%. I agree, I agree with that and, uh, 100%. And on that note, <laughs> if, you guys didn't, if you guys didn't share already, share the, the recording because it was a great conversation. Um, we got to go. Every Monday. Yeah, it's 1026. <laughs> we still got four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm I'm doing my we we do, I'm doing our promo. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll but anyway, you. it's fine. But share share the Facebook live feed so that this could get circulated to other people because this is a great conversation. We're here every Monday. You know that we also podcast. So if you want to be a guest, let us know. Drastic, we're gonna schedule something for you because I know you said you were interested, Darrell. Okay, yeah. Uh, Mahogany's been on a thousand times. So. Uh, um, yeah, I've been on a million. Um, I, I wanna, I wanna interview you, Jurassic, or for this conversation that we just had. Mm. Okay, I don't know if I'm ready, but I, but, I, but I'll oblige. <laughs> and, and, and I'm gonna promote myself real quick. I'm doing a podcast in a couple of weeks, uh, talking about the, you know the racism and justice and things going on the whole Black Lives Movement. So people listening right now, please get on my podcast. I would love to have you. Just, just put you, that out. You, 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 you open for, you open for, 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 for some, some, uh, some different conversation within that. I'm open with everything as long as it's respectful, of course. Okay. Okay. That's I'm cool. coming. I'm coming to talk my talk. Talk yeah. your talk. <laughs> yeah. And just be ready. And just be ready for a rebuttal because that's my field. Be, be ready because I'm gonna argue. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you don't even just know what y'all, 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 y'all. Your, y all, y all yeah, discussion may be aligned, and y'all yeah, just might true, be true. on it together, educating. That's, that's true, true. Because a lot of times I'm thinking we going, oh, we getting ready to get into it, and then we aligned, and we just spend an hour like just really getting to know each other, <laughs> talking and educating. And you gotta be able to hit that button if they come on, and it's not something that's, you know, just controversial. Because you don't just want some; you want something that's informative. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. You have too many Absolutely. people going out here and trying to find. Things for entertainment value. You know what I mean? People told us, yo, yeah. y'all need more controversial people. And we're like, we want to educate. We want to have right. a dialogue. Yeah. You know saying like, we're going to disagree, granted, but let's have a dialogue. Let's have people who are working towards the same thing actually finally having a podcast because that's what we do. Right. That's looking to work towards the same goal. Right. Why can't we have a podcast that's not entertaining but educational? Right. Well, that's what mine's going to be about. But it is that it is entertaining to those who, you know, it feeds. Yeah, it's it feeds entertaining a different, to us. Different beasts. You're right. So, you yeah. know. Well, so thank you guys. Thank you, Demetra and, and Amelie. I know that we butcher your name every week. So maybe one day you could, you could get on and be a panelist. <laughs> Jessica. Um, all winner. Jessica. Yes. Reese. Um, April. Yes, Reese. Yes. April. Or Jasmine. It was. 
actually it was nice to not be the only female on the panel today so thank you guys for joining <laughs> um represent represent um but, oh, just said good night yeah good night guys and it's been good another night. great good night all discussion man. and yeah. aziz hit me up you know what i'm talking about yeah hit yeah yeah up. we getting ready to do it i'm getting ready to set. Time i need that i need that a little bit man all right my dude all right yeah. all right guys y'all next, next week, week. Next week. All right, so. Bye. All right. Thank you. All right, guys. Y'all be safe. Yeah, All right, thank Mahogany. you. Mahogany, make sure you on there, too. I'm coming. All right. <laughs>